so smooth. And with just the two flaps in the back, you know? It's really smooth. Oh, there's another blade. Hey, it's Mr. Marshall from the Mesa Arts and Foam Fighters. I got Colton here. And uh, earlier in the season, I told the guys, I said, hey, we want to come out with our own version of the F-22 Raptor because we haven't, haven't done one yet. Um, the uh, RC Foam Fighters has their version of the F-22. The RC Powers has their version of the F-22. Um, it is such an iconic um, plane that everyone's trying, but we haven't tried it yet. So Colton took the challenge, and during the uh, the floods, you know, he's stuck at home not doing anything, but he had some foam board. He decided to make the prototype. So if you want to zoom in on this thing, this was his first trial run. And uh, to Colton, um, go ahead and talk a little bit if you can. Cause he's a little sick, but uh, talk a little bit how um, how you came up with this first, and what body you used to kind of come up with this first. Well, first off, I just thought I was wanting to make a new scratch build, but make sure it would fly the first time. So I took a really good plane that we knew was really fast and flew really good, which is the Wolverine. So as you can see, it's the Wolverine with the fuselage right here. And I just changed the main wings to look like the F-22 and made the oversized stabilizers to the side. And that's what I came on. Perfect. So when he came to me, he said, uh, Mr. Marshall, I got the Wolverine. I sit, or the uh, F-22 F ready to go. Um, trying to push these guys to excel and to get the thing to look just like the F-22, I said, well, we can, we can do a little bit more. Um, one, we can make the wings look more like the F-22 wings, and we can make the back closed to look more like that of an F-22 instead of the Wolverine. So what we did was we went to CAD, and we got the Wolverine plans, and we worked out the, the, uh, the wings, to make it look like that at 22 and then we fix the back just to see what would kind of happen and then go ahead and share what you got to show for it. And this one's a little different. It's got a different design main wing, a little bigger uh, elevator and it's got the closed up back like the F-22 so it looks like it's got the two jets right here and the prop is kind of closed up inside the plane. So if you didn't hear we got the back here, so you can see it looks pretty cool. And I think we're going to space it out a little bit more to make it not so flat in the back. But it, this thing is looking pretty sweet. Um, it, it's got an oversized wing. We oversized it a little bit more here, oversized the, the back, because all he's running on is going to be the two back, just so he can learn how to fly. He, he wants to learn how to fly. so. Uh, he has an idea already, but this is going to hopefully give him a better chance. And then when you get some more successful flying it, then he can start cutting out the ailerons and actually, you know, getting a little bit trickier. Um, but as you can see, this is how we prototype our stuff. I and mean, we've got notes on the back here. We've got, you know, things that what we need to change. Um, and he's got a lot of work cut out to him before we, you know, finalize this and really make this, you know, you know, our own and your own, so you can first out to the rest of the world so they can fly cold to plane, just kind of like how Colby did with his J-20. So, um, any last words? I encourage people that it's a lot easier to start going out with CAD, so you don't have to rebuild everything, you can just print out a whole other set. It's yeah. Really easy. Yeah, so he's got this on laser already, so he cut out most of it with the laser uh, laser cutter, and then like he said, we'll, we'll go back in the CAD after today. And, get it finalized and ready to go. We're running the basic setup for all our scratch builds, which is just a um, little bit oversized engine. It doesn't need to, it could be the standard 2212 6 um, 2200, 25C LiPo, a regular 40 amp ESC, and then just standard 9 gram servos, metal gear, um, that we'll be using for this flight. So, wish Colton luck. We're gonna go out to the backyard and see how the prototype, uh, prototype flies. Let's do it.
It's all cold right now. <laughs> Even on his prototype, he's flying. Sweet. Give me a chance. Prototype. Give me a chance. Oh, oh, no. Mom's not gonna work. It's not me like. It's so smooth. Aim with just the two flaps in the back, you know. It's really smooth. Oh, there's another blade. You filming? All right, so that was his uh, first flight with his prototype. What do you think, man? It was really smooth, a lot smoother than I expected. The first time I tried to fly, it was really hard, but this time it was just really easy. Real nice, and yeah. I mean, you look like you're doing you just fine, just orientation. Yes. So maybe for you, your little color brighter colors on the bottom or darker on the top. So for you, it's a little bit darker. Okay. Yes. So we'll probably go like a darker graphite, maybe with a black tint or something. Or yeah. Something like that. No, you got yourself your first plane, man. And I think this hopefully will inspire some of the kids in the class to uh, to really look at how to to take some old designs and reworking them to make it look like uh, another plane that's Ow. that's out in production. So um, this is really cool. We're gonna finalize this. We'll do a couple more uh, prototype flies. Make sure we got it dialed in, and then we'll get the body dialed in, and then uh, Colton will announce when he wants to unveil it to the public for free for free download. And uh, we'll go from there. Other than that, though, good job, dude. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Found a um, <laughs> spectrum one of these at my house. Oh, that's mine. Yeah, I probably, I think I put it on my shoulder, my neck one day, and I just forgot to take it off. I have like three of them that I found. One of them's yours, but I'll bring three. them on. Three. You're such a thief. I'll bring them on. Oh, by the way, I've been. I've been oh, by the way, I have a couple motors years. too, and I also have a uh, light bulb. Uh, yeah, I think I have one of your computers too. I'm just accidentally walk away with it. I found a random laser cutter in my room one day. Was that yours? <laughs> 